Hello everyone, welcome to the Smoky Prime YouTube channel. It's currently almost 10 p.m. and I am just now deciding to do a BotCon haul or like show what I got. Um, and I'm gonna save the best for last, which um, costed me $120. That's probably the most I've ever spent on one item. And yes, it's only for one item. I don't know if that's normal or not for Transformers toys. I'm not a huge collector of like Transformers figures. I just, I see whatever figure, I like Walmart or Meyer or something, and I buy it. Maybe only a week ago, maybe not even. Mom, sibling, and I went to Meyer, and I went to check out the toy aisle while I was waiting for my sibling to try on some clothes, and I found Bumblebee movie um, concept art Sunstreaker. And I thought it was really cool, and it was the only one there at Meyer, and it was the only one that held my interest, so I got it. It was however much, and I'm glad I got it because it's cool. And most likely, I would have bought it for much more expensive. That doesn't make any sense grammatically, but let's pretend it does at BotCon. Because I actually saw multiple booths with the concept art Sunstreaker figure. And I thought that was pretty cool, but I already had him, so there was no need to get another one. Anyway, long-winded story put simply, I bought a $120 figure and I don't know if that's normal. Actually, no, it, it is. There's a lot of figures that are expensive. There was a, another figure I wanted to get, which I'll get into that kind of tangent later. Actually, no, before I forget about it, I'm gonna get into the tangent now. That figure was um, almost $200. And I, I remember I was, um, my mom and I were walking around for like the fifth time because I keep on walking around the vendor room because I want to see if there's anything that piques my interest. We end up at this one booth that we've been to like, you know, a couple times before, and I see it has a Earthrise Nemesis Prime figure. Earlier in the day, I had already bought that other figure that was over $100. I was like, oh, let's see how much this is. It can't be that much, ex that much more expensive, right? Bro was $185. Like the one, the, 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 the the one that I'll show later. That one makes sense for the price tag. That one made sense. And even then, and actually I'm not gonna spoil it, but I need to stop talking. <laughs> but like, it's crazy because it makes sense, it makes sense for the figure that I got. The one, the Earthrise Nemesis was, I, I don't get it. it. And also what's even worse is when I wanted the figure that I actually bought, I will reveal it later in time, just trust me on this. My mom was like, okay, let's look it up online and see if that's even remotely like a fair price. And the one of the first things that comes up is, which actually it's the exact same box art, so it's the exact same toy, and it's like 119 and some change. So the price that we bought it for actually was pretty fair, if not a bit over, but like not by much, so it's nothing to really complain about. Actually, I don't remember if I looked up for the Earthrise Nemesis. I think I did, and the closest thing was like $90? Why the hell is it $185? I'm not part- I'm not a huge part of the toy collecting community. I just collect whatever I think is cool and I put it on my shelves. I don't really have a rhyme or reason for it, just whatever I think looks cool, which I'm pretty sure is what a lot of other people do. Actually. I don't know. For the longest time, I've been looking for a figure of a specific character. You may already know who that specific character is, but if you don't, um, it'll be obvious soon enough. Okay, I'm gonna actually get into what I got. And also, if you're wondering what I'm, why I'm holding headphones, like it's a mug, this is the closest thing I have to a microphone and I don't wanna talk too loud. And I actually don't know if this is working. Um, in post, I'll have to see, and if I have to crank up the volume, you will definitely hear the fan right next to me. And there's also fireworks going on, um, going off outside. So if I have to up the audio on this, you're also gonna hear those very clearly. First of all, the first thing I got, uh, of course I got a Autobahn Insignia trans pin. What was funny is I, was, I, I saw that there were these bigger pins of the same exact, insignia and flag, but I was trying to find a smaller pin because I wanted to put it on my backpack and I didn't want it to be overly obvious. But anyway, yeah, so this is, um, believe it or not, this is my third trans flag pin. I have a regular pin that is uh, the 
pokey thing on the back is fucked up. Um, I have this Transheart enamel pin that I got from uh, Pride Palace for free. Mine's shipping, I believe. I don't remember exactly. Oh, and I also got like a, the, the asexual flag with that as well. So that's fun. Yeah, so I got a third trans, trans, uh, trans, trans. But also I love the, like, you see the little heart up there? That's kind of cute. I like that. On to the next thing. For this, I am going to have to put this microphone down because uh, it's a sticker and I put it on my iPad. Um, I love it a lot. I got, it's so, it, this, look at this sticker. It's so cute and high quality and I love it so much. Also the, I, I feel so bad because I don't remember the artist that did it, but I remember the booth and I remember the art style is, at least on some of the art, the art style was pretty distinct and I feel like I've seen her on Twitter, but I remember on the business card it showed a YouTube and a website, so it may not, they may not be on Twitter, which fair enough. It, the sticker is so cute. I love it so much. And it came in a cute little paper bag for me to carry around, but I had to throw out the bag and I kind of feel bad for it. But anyway, the, the booth also had um, a stand and it had like a, an advertisement for their Kickstarter to make enamel pins out of these. Maybe if I tried to look up the, the Kickstarter, I'd be able to find them and credit the artist because I love the art style so much. And when the enamel pins do come out, I want one. I don't know how big the pins will be, but I don't care. They are going on my school backpack and people will know my undying love and dedication for Jetfire. And then we have this beautiful little card. I actually went up to the booth that was selling these. And actually a lot of the people behind the booth, well, not a lot of people, but some of the people behind the booth who would interact with me, like when I'm standing there looking at their stuff, would like you know they would guess the character that you are and i need to say this the ma the majority of people who talked to me and saw my saw my cosplay you know they guessed correctly like oh jetfire or one person said skyfire and <laughs> which i think which i think I, that's fine that's cute same same person so, you know <laughs> a, a couple of people guessed drift because i was holding a cardboard sword and the little antenna didn't help, and because you only see me from the front most of the time, only if you're walking behind me would you ever know I'm Jetfire. I don't know, the, the explanation is Jetfire from Jetfire slash Skyfire from Generation 1, and then the sword is because a different version of his character in a different continuity has built-in swords, so I made that as a prop. So a couple of people guessed Drift, which understandable with the like little antenna I made for it, which now I want to make a full-on helmet for him. I think that would be awesome, and because a couple people at the con were also wearing full-on helmets of the characters they were cosplaying. I think it would be possible for me to, but then again, my stupidity can go to great lengths, so uh, I would just have to try harder. And also, it's a, it, it would be a nice project, honestly. But yeah, and I remember one person across from the booth I was at was like, oh, Starscream, and they immediately backtracked and said, oh no, Jetfire. <laughs> and it was because of how my wings were pointing. So that was kind of funny that someone guessed out of Starscream. Um, and also kind of tragic because uh, considering their relationship to each other. And I remember one, the, the booth I went up to for the, the pin, uh, they asked if I was a Sky Star shipper. And I said, and I, like, I was still kind of like anxious at the time. So instead of saying like, yeah, kinda, I just said, yeah. A, a, a little conversation about it, but not much. And my mom next to me probably being confused. We went to like three separate booths or something that had um, art of RC and sometimes other various uh, female looking uh, transformers. And my mom at each of them was like, why do they have to objectify her? First thing out of her mouth when she saw some fan art, which I'm not condemning the artist in any way. I'm, I'm just saying what my mom said. She was like, why are they objectifying her? And then I'm like, objectifying who? Because I couldn't, I couldn't see the art that she was talking about. And then she pointed it out and I'm like, Oh, uh, yeah, that's been going on for a long time, Mom. <laughs> the last, uh, well, not the last small thing, but, okay, it, it's in a, a plastic cover, and I don't want to take it off. I love it very much, and I don't want to ruin it. <gasps> Wait, did I ruin? Oh, no, that's meant to be there. It's a, okay, it's a sparkle. Okay. Oh, God, no. Wait, my lamp is ruining it. 
Oh, my lamp is still going to ruin it. That's fine. But, oh, wait, yeah, if I put it like this. It's Scratch Art of Soundwave. And I got this for free with the little card of Jetfire. Like, hang on, let me put this back. And unlike uh, literally everything else, um, that's them. Uh, Spectacled Geeks. They're awesome. Uh, go check them out. They're literally like amazing art. This, my mom, uh, my mom didn't want me to lose the little Jetfire card. So she asked if they had any um, sheets or like one of those like plastic covers to put in it. And he's like, yeah, sure. So he started getting out a case and I was expecting to see one that like, you know, one that was about this size to put it in. He pulls this out and he asks uh, out of however, whichever characters. I remember he pulled out the Soundwave one and I literally audibly gasped because I was not expecting this. It was Soundwave, two others and Grimlock were the choices. I can't remember the others but I, I love these so much, they're so good. The last one I'm gonna have to, first of all, I need to be careful because it's a, it's a print. And second of all, I'm gonna be away from the mic for a second. Also, my mom wants me to put this in a frame and I'm gonna do that because I don't wanna ruin it. And also it's signed, which is really cool. It's literally so cool. I love it. Okay, so funny thing is, that booth was the first one we went to and I saw the Jetfire print. And um, it was also the first booth where my, where my mom pointed out a, a drawing of RC and was like, why do they objectify her? I, I love that a lot. <laughs> it, it's so cool. Also a funny story. First time we went there, we were like, okay, we're gonna come back and get it later. And then we were making our way back. We were at a we were at another uh, booth, and we were starting to make our way over to the guy that had that print. Someone walked uh walked out from behind where he was hanging up all the prints that he was selling. It tips over and falls on top of him. But like he he's fine. He's okay. He was okay after that. It was kind of scary to just watch that because like oh my god, this huge structure just fell on top of a guy and. My mom later then complains be because the um, person that he, the person who was looking at his artwork, all he says is, I watched that happen in slow motion, which I laughed to at the time because I also too watched that in slow motion, but I didn't say it aloud. And therefore my mom didn't complain to me about me. Anyway, are you guys ready for the monster that I bought for $120? It's, it's a massive box. We got a, so with the jet fire print, we got a bag that was fairly big. I, we started putting stuff in there. And when I bought this figure, it was difficult to put it in the bag. The bag was massive, but I'm going to show you this because I'm so proud of myself for getting the courage to buy this. Because again, it's $120. I've never bought something for that much. And my mom even told me, I can't believe you spent more money than me. Anyway, the behemoth, I'm going to try to, Commander Class Seeds Jetfire, everyone. I've wanted this figure ever since I realized that there was a figure of Seeds Jetfire, aka years. Okay, hang on. Let me, let me put this back. That thing has been my dopamine rush all day. Since I since I bought it, I was like, this is my rush. I I love it so much. I also went to the con with my sister, brother-in-law, um, nephew and niece. And we find the we find them and the first thing I say is, that's what I got. And I, I show my I show my sister the figure and I tell her that I paid hundred and twenty dollars for it. I don't remember how she reacted, but I think she looked disbelieved. Like, are you stupid? How are you my brother? Kind of disbelief. And then also, of course, I texted my friend, like, I, I think I specifically said something like, um, 
you won't believe I spent like $120 for a transformer. And now here comes this part. Oh, the headphones did turn off. I guess this means that um, this didn't work as a microphone, which is fine. I'm completely okay with that. This is just a this is just a funny prop now. It's not even a functional mic. Anyway, after I got the figure, my mom is like, you're not, you shouldn't take that out of the box. Like, you want to preserve it. Keep it in the box. And I keep on telling her, I want to put it on my shelf. Like, my, my shelves full of other Transformers figures. So I keep on saying, I'm going to take it out of the box. Mostly just like jokingly challenging her. But she says like, you want to preserve it. Like something like that, you don't take it out of the box. And then when I told her I was gonna take out the box, she's like, okay, but keep the box. Which of course I am. That box art is crazy. I love the box art, dude. It looks sick. Why would I throw that out? I posted on Twitter like, hey, Transformers t uh, Twitter, is it a sin to take him out the box? But yeah, thanks for watching. Oh wait, I still have the other segment of me opening the box, don't I? Well. Well, I'm here now. This morning I checked my Twitter. No response, of course, but that's fine. No one said that it's, uh, that I shouldn't, but no one said that I should either. And since when have I cared about other people's opinions? So let's open up my boy here, Jetfire. I'm just in awe over the box art still. A lot of the figures that I get, they're pretty small or like some of them are none of the, bo none of the boxes I've ever gotten were this big I just love that box art and also it looks like you can change how he looks I'm not exactly sure how true that is and also the little this in the corner I love that the military insignia is incorporated into the somehow because it's not uh, you never see that in the show so um I got these uh, little rinky dink safety scissors and I'm gonna open him up. Should I stand while I do this? I don't know. There, my chair was like all the way down so that you, I could be in frame. But anyway, while I do while I do all this, I'm gonna talk about my time at BotCon because I actually didn't do a lot of that. I just told uh, stories and stuff. And I didn't really talk about what I did there. So, uh, BotCon was, BotCon was pretty fun. Uh, I'm gonna kneel so you can see my face. BotCon was pretty fun. Uh, <laughs> we didn't do a lot, I'll be honest. There were a couple panels I wanted to go to. When we got there, there was like a line because it had only been, what, like 30 minutes since general admission opened up. So we, we were in line and waiting. And actually, uh, that's... Like, I was super nervous. Um, I I'd never been to BotCon before, till then. So, get out of the box, please. Get fire, my beloved, get out of the box. Oh god, how do I get him out? Uh, yeah, feet to the rest. <gasps> oh my god, he's so big! Bro! <laughs> this is probably the- Oh my god, this is probably the biggest figure I've ever gotten. Look how big that is! The only figure I have that could rival this size is the Lego Optimus Prime. Oh my god. I, I love it so much. Um, now I feel kind of bad about taking it out of the box. I'm still gonna do it. I don't care. I'm not gonna leave it in a box and sit it on my shelf. That would look stupid. <laughs> I'm such a giddy child. This is awesome. Um, anyway, yeah, so while we're standing there, while we're standing there, um, in line to get our tickets, we were only there for Saturday, um, so there's that, and, god, where do I even start? Is there a way to untie it? Nope, it's all tape in the back. That's fine. Uh, we were standing in line, and some, uh, cosplayers passed us, and I think they were TFA cosplayers, because... I actually recognized one of them because earlier on I saw them uh, walking around. Uh, they'd already been in, they already got their badges and stuff since they were around in the vendor room. Like, uh, like I saw them walk out of the vendor room. 
and like this whole group of TFA cosplayers passed by and one of them, uh, I think he was cosplaying Swindle, I'm not entirely sure, I thought it was another Blitzwing cosplayer, but then uh, later on reflecting on it, I realized it's probably Swindle because he doesn't have the wings or like anything like that. And he looks at me and he's like, let me guess, Jetfire. And I'm like, yeah. And he said the cosplay was cool. How the fuck am I supposed to free your legs, my guy? It's actually really, this is a lot more difficult than I thought. Yeah. And also you're gonna hear cars pass by and stuff. My window's open. Um, so yeah, this is, this is weird. Um, anyway. Oh wait, I think I might've gotten it. Okay, I got it, I got it. So yeah, there was, that, that interaction was cool. That was before we got, like, before we went inside. Like, before we got our tickets or anything, just standing there in line. So that was actually kind of cool. We, uh... Da, 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 da. Yeah, so, like, we got our tickets, and then we started going and... Well, actually, we waited for, we waited for the rest of our group, since, again, we went with uh, other family members as like a family activity and then we went inside first thing when you go into the when you go into the vendor room um to the left are the robosen uh robots there we go you got nice heels jetfire yeah um walked around walked around a bunch uh all this oh, my mom also got a t-shirt from the, the same thing that i bought the jetfire print he also had two shirts, and one of them was, like, supporting local troops. But then, um, he also had a different shirt that's, like, if I'm partying, I'm third partying. Because he's a, th he's a third party, um, artist, if I remember correctly. So he does a lot of art for third party stuff. Which I think is pretty cool. We actually did see a lot of uh, toys that are third party. Which, was, that was kind of funny, because I would see them, I would see ones, like, I saw a jet one that was like supposed to be Jetfire for third party, and I'm like, oh, cool, Jetfire. And it had a completely different name, and I started laughing because I thought it was stupid or something. And yada yada. But yeah, my mom got that shirt, the if I'm partying, I'm third partying. Ooh, wait, how's this? A Where is this attack? Oh, wait, is this over the. Oh, that's actually really cool. Wait, no, that's on his back. Okay, I'm getting a little confused. I'm gonna keep getting this shit out. My brother-in-law, I'm just gonna call him C, was having a blast walking around. Um, at some point, he... Oh, wait, your... Your other arm's trapped. No, don't break your wrist now. Come on, man. This is so big. I love it. That is awesome. Okay, I'm probably not gonna transform him, I'm being honest. I'm gonna... Oh, wait, this, this thing does go on the front. How does this... How does this fit? So, hold up. Okay, so it's supposed to go where? Here? Yeah, it's supposed to go here, but I don't know how to attach it. Oh, wait, I think I, I, think I see now. Maybe? Huh. I must be doing something wrong. I'm not sure. But, yeah, my brother, sorry, brother-in-law, C, um, he's walking around, and at some point, he finds, um, we come across one booth that has um beast wars figures and he looks over at my mom and i and he says that um when he was younger he had a bin of toys and there was like a blue leg or arm or something in there and recently he saw those and recently he saw those or something of the like and he was like what is that supposed to be and he finally realized it was from a beast wars figure called spitor just like a poison dart frog and so that was really cool that he found that out but he also got the morbid realization he could be making a lot of he could be making bank off these things if he had saved them it's probably one of the cringiest things i've ever said i'm so sorry while i was there i saw two um one of them was combiner wars i remember that i have a combiner wars figure named off-road or at least i did i don't know where it went my mom probably took it he came with a comic and there were other figures there that were also from Combiner Wars that also had the comics, and I was so tempted to buy them just so I could have more to the story because that story is I've not I it's the literally the only one of the only comics I had. I had another one that was for IDW Bumblebee. I had the comic, 
Could not find it. I couldn't even tell you where it was because I literally can't find it anymore. It's it's gone. And I'm forever upset it is. I go I go through my room extensively, through a lot of things extensively, to find like to find it. Um hold on, I think I see little things here I can open up. I'm a little afraid I'm gonna break it. Oh? Oh wait, is this to help attach Oh it is to attach it! Hold up. So then you can attach this. Come on, please work with me. Because I want to see how this looks. Oh, what? Oh, it's the helmet! <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. So when you put it on, this little thing opens. I thought I broke something. Why is it still open? Does it need to be open? That's awesome though. And then... Oh, and then there's a little thing on... Uh, oh, that looks awesome. Look at them! I love that! Oh, that's amazing. Oh, please, please. His heel, his heel keeps on... The heels fold under and this one keeps on doing that. I can recreate so many scenes now. Okay, so the, the, what, which ones? Oh, wait, can you like, oh, you can mix and match. Okay, I didn't know that. That's cool. So these ones. Oh, that's epic. So these can be the boosters. I kind of want to transform them, but I know if I do, I might accidentally break something. These can. Oh, that's awesome. God, this is so cool. I'm actually, I might actually cry because I'm so happy. I'm, I'm so happy. My God. Uh, I'm gonna, so first of all, take off your mask. What? What is that? Wait, what? Uh, his boot came off. Oh, now I'm confused about that. And then, come on. All right, we're gonna close the little, little, little flaps there. Oh, and then also the helmet. There we go. Okay, I don't need to peel it off. Oh, wait, so, hold up. No, open up. I accidentally broke it. Uh, I can put it back on. It'll be easy, so just give me a second. That's awesome. Anyway, let me... Th this is a cool part of it, like, reverting them back to, like, um, G1. Well, not exactly G1, but, like, the, the other design. I, I don't remember seeing him with... Is this how big his gun is in the show? Is this how big it actually is in the show? I don't believe that. Um, I want to see, like... I'm not going to transform them. I just want to... Oh, that's huge. This is the... Whoa, what? Wait. Battlemasters and Micromaster figures become weapons to equip War for Cybertron figures. Fire Blast accessories are included with Battlemasters and are compatible with War for Cybertron figures. Look for others to build the ultimate battlefield. So they are made to, like, fit with all of them? Bro, that's, uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah, and then there's a bunch of attach points that you could put them in. That's awesome. Wait, you can, you can separate this? Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And then there's a little thing here. This is what I was trying to mess with with it, because I wasn't sure what it's supposed to be. And then now he has two guns. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, not gonna lie though, never gonna transform him because I don't, I don't do that. Because I was gonna say like he does have a double barrel gun in the trilogy, but um, it's not this long. I'm so happy, and I am gonna keep this. I'm, I'm gonna put it in a drawer or I'm gonna put it back in the box. I'm not sure. I'm guessing these go on. His alternate mode? Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, they do. 
What? Okay, so the little the little thing that goes on his front, you can put it on his you could put weapons on it and then put it on his back. That's actually kind of cool. But again, not going to do it. Yeah, I'm just going to There is a there is someone online on like on eBay. I remember I was looking up the, like the work for the Siege Jetfire figure to like uh loathe over uh that I can't uh, buy it. And I remember seeing that someone was selling um attachments and it was his sword and it was attachment to I don't think it was the commander class jet fire but it'd be cool if it was There's so much detail put into this figure I'm blown away um I'm gonna have to move a bunch of stuff uh from my shelf so that I can put them there because I have I have three shelves full of transformers figures but he's only oh but um jet fire is only gonna fit on the top shelf because that's the only one that has like like nothing above it it's just the ceiling i want to i want to do a cool pose with him but all the cool poses i know is him with his sword <laughs> it, it also would be cool if you could flip around wait can't wait can you flip it around wait 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 <gasps> you can flip it around i didn't even <laughs> As, as soon as I said it, I was like, wait, can you? Because I saw, like, the seam. Like, the seam. Like, there's supposed to be something behind it. Oh, my God. I knew I was missing something. Oh, my God. I'm the happiest person right now. I'm not happy that... I, I'm happy that he became an Autobot. But I'm equally as happy that you can flip it around. Because that is awesome. Oh, my God. I was waiting. I got nothing else to say. I'm... My... I'm I'm just happy. I'm so happy. Dope and dope dope dopamine. I kinda wanna make him sit um off the side. So okay, the other Jeffrey figure I have up on my shelf, he doesn't have knees. Like literally oh wait, no, he can't even sit. He, never mind, I forgot. There's a dump truck ass in the way. I shouldn't say that. I'm so sorry, Jetfire. I can't stop staring at it. I can't believe I have this figure now. I've wanted it for so long. My dreams have come true. <laughs> I'm so happy. I I can't even say anything else. I'm just so happy. Really, it's so crazy because I'll see I I've seen like this exact image of him, the same exact pose on the internet. Like while I'm looking up pictures of Jetfire and stuff. And it looks so close to the show, I can't tell if it's like a sprite or if it's supposed to be the toy, but it is supposed to be the toy. Oh yeah, what's funny about the Robosun table? Sorry, I, <laughs> I, can't, I, I forgot. I need to also give stories. My mom and I were back at the Robosun table and we were watching them, like, we were watching the vendors give voice commands and stuff. And someone came over and asked how much, um, I can't remember which one. I think it was uh, Grimlock. They gave different, they said like something like you get this much off if it's out of the box, this much if it's in the box. But I remember Grimlock was 1700 and then Megatron was 1200 We didn't get a price for the Optimus when we were standing at the table. And then Bumblebee was 250 And my mom was like, I wish I could get it because cause then I would put it on, I would just put it the, the the dash of my car. Like, it's 250 And I kept on telling my mom that she could have. She might as well, she could have. But she, and then we're walking away and we're still walking around. She keeps on saying like, oh, I wish I got it. Like, it would be so cool to have it at the front of the Camaro, and I'm like, Mom, you, you could've. Literally, it was right there. If I could buy a $120 figure, you could buy a robot for $250. But in the end, like, you know, her decision with her money, she didn't get the Robosin, uh, Bumblebee. Robosin, that, that bead was, like, it's so cute. I think my mom made the joke of like, oh, it would be really, like, oh, if he danced, it would be really out of character. And then the vendor comes over, he's like, hey, Megatron, happy birthday. <laughs> and then he started dancing. And my mom was amazed. I knew it was going to happen. I didn't know if Megatron had any voice commands that had to do with him dancing. So that was a pleasant surprise on my part as well.
Oh yeah, the cosplay contest, I forgot. It was being hosted by a Megatron cosplayer and a Soundwave cosplayer who were very cool. And I think I recognized the Megatron cosplayer from TikTok before I got rid of it. It was a lot of fun. There were some non-Transformers cosplays, which is fine. Those ones were pretty cool as well. Um, <clears throat> there were like three different Coronation Star streams, which, you know, I am now severely tempted to make a Coronation Star stream cosplay. Those look a lot of fun, especially the crowns. There was one that was a cowboy. Ah, I forgot the name of it. I forgot. I feel bad. There was Hound Ron something. Damn it. There was a ratchet cosplayer when he went up, when he went up. Uh, Megatron started saying like, "Oh, it's good to see you again, Doctor." And then <laughs> I think he said something like, "I only have one thing to say." Bulkhead. I needed that. And then the crowd goes wild, and my mom was like, "What did he say?" And I said, "He said I needed that. That's the ratchet cosplay." <laughs> There were three kids that were cos- no, there were more than three kids. There was just a group of three kids that were cosplaying. Um, one of them- two of them had amazing cosplays. It was Grimlock and then Hotshot from Rescue Bots Academy. They both are amazing, phenomenal. I love it so much. Everyone else did it so well. Love them a lot. The Frenzy cosplay- it's not Frenzy, apparently it's Rumble. I keep on mixing up, but there was also a Rumble cosplay, which looks amazing. <laughs> I, I I kept on I kept on mistaking them for uh, Frenzy. And by the way, the Grimlock cosplay won with an honorable mention of the Hotshot cosplay. <laughs> oh my god, it was that that was awesome. Like every single time, uh, Grimlock Grimlock was like mentioned, like uh, when during the the voting. Uh, people would go wild, like, just like, yeah, Grimoire King, <laughs> the king. It was awesome. And then after that, my mom and I left. I was so tired. I almost fell asleep on the drive back. I should have, but I didn't. But yeah, now we have Jetfire, the Sept former Decepticon Air Commander, now um, officially dead. Not in my world. You survive, young man. Or... How old are you? Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna try to put this behemoth, uh, affectionate, uh, on my shelf. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, if I can. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna try to put my boy on the shelf. But thank you guys so much for watching, um, and I'll see you later.